on a daily basis, electricians, or we can be exposed to almost anything when it comes to working above, at ground level or below ground level. Um, we can find ourselves, in some cases, exposed to things like hydrogen sulfide if we're working in a ditch. It's naturally occurring, and Alberta is very boggy. So we can end up with muskeg or, or rotting material that causes it. Uh, underneath ATCO shacks or above ceiling tiles, we can find animal fecal matter, things like hantavirus or other biological hazards that, can come into co that we can come into contact, even right down to lice or scabies or something like that. And then also, too, on the main floor, main levels, we can find ourselves exposed to um, biological hazards or chemical hazards from what we're working with or in the atmosphere we're working in. Something as simple as working in a food facility can expose you to things that would cause you some great illness down the road. You know, probably one of the things that you want to do is go in and ask for something like a baseline pulmonary function test to see um, where you're at. Because if you've already been exposed, it's difficult to tell, but you can map any kind of decline in your health over the years. So you want to track that with your doctor. And if you go in and talk to your doctor and saying, I think I've been exposed to asbestos or I may have been exposed to some kind of a substance, they'll work with you and they know the process. Uh, it can be pretty scary, especially when you don't know what you're getting into. Generally what we find is when we get into a situation like this, people get an initial scare and they're like, I don't want to work on anything. Right? I want to know. And that's, that's the informed worker. When I want to know, when I want a copy of the code book in my hand, the Occupational Health and Safety Code Book, and I can read the manual and look for what it is that I may be exposed to and understand the tables, then you've got an informed worker that can go out and do their due diligence properly.